My friends, if I point to someone and I say, this person is trying to build his own kingdom, you most likely would understand it in a very negative way, in a very derisive way. Because what I'm saying is that this person wants to exercise control and authority over something that he doesn't deserve. So am I telling you that uh, exercising control over certain things is bad? Or having authority over certain people or certain things is unacceptable, is not right? The answer is no. Because after all, aren't we all called to be kings? By virtue of our baptism, we are called to live out our faith life as prophets, priests and kings. The question we have to ask ourselves is, what does this kingship entail? And we have heard time and time again that Christian kingship, it's a kingship of service. We are called to be servant kings. But again, these are mere terms. What does it really mean? In today's gospel reading, a Roman centurion approached Jesus, begging Jesus to heal his sick servant. And after hearing his plea, Jesus recognized the deep faith of this Roman centurion. And he told the Roman centurion, or he implied, that it is on account of his deep faith that his servant was cured. Was the Roman centurion's faith exhibited merely because he acknowledged Jesus' authority? Or was there something more? This is what I think. The Roman centurion showed his faith because he exercised his authority wisely. The Roman centurion has a hundred men under his care. And this is the key word, care. He showed great care and love for his sick servant. He went to great lengths to try to help his sick servant to get well. And I think it is in his benevolent and wise exercise of authority that Jesus saw a man with great faith. My dear friends, we've been all called to participate in the building of the kingdom of God. And how do we do this? Especially for people who are in position of authority over others, we should use this authority wisely and benevolently. We shouldn't use this control we have over others to oppress. Rather, we should use the authority we have to care for and to love others, especially people who are in most need. So my dear friends, here's a reflection question for you. Do you treat your subordinate with great care and affection? And if you think that this video is helpful for you, please share it with others and encourage others to subscribe to my channel. And I hope you subscribe to my channel too.